Hello guys, welcome back to another video. <coughs> in this video, we are going to study about the introduction of aesthetic beauty in bridge designs. So let's start to our <coughs> lecture today. The condition and character of building have been measure of civilization. In knowledge is as civilization developed human needs increase and desire for greater comfort created a need for transportation and communication the bridge of fallen logs or swinging vines gave way to better and more commodious <coughs> ones over which loaded animals and carts could pass with safety with the further advance of civilization and extension of commerce, heavier and better bridges were required until the coming of railroad transportation in the 19th century when longer ones were erected to carry trains. The earliest bridges were for, were for utility only and little or no thought was given to their adornment. Primitive races were content with crude bridges that served only their various needs. With the general development of culture, there comes a stronger call for structures that please the eye and pay more attention to the aesthetic qualities. The foundation of aesthetics is of the subjective order, the quality of the the impression made on the mind of the observer by the thing observed therefore aesthetics are therefore mind and art therefore aesthetic are of relative order and may gradually change with the developing mind artists and architects have formulated various principles during the past centuries Defining their conceptions of the artistic to these, the engineer may often look for his first provisional standard for comparison. Bridges are frequently the most conspicuous objects in the landscape. A bridge can often be seen for a great distance. No structure more clearly shows its objective and use and the opportunity is therefore offered for truthful construction a prime prerequisite for good design so guys our next topic is conformity with the environment topic number 10.2.1 a bridge must conform with its surroundings and environment the settings or surroundings greatly affect its appearance those that are exposed to the river view are seen and appreciated more than others that are partially hidden by adjoining objects. Generally, our structure must be in harmony with its environment and not appear as an illustration intrusion to secure harmony between the structure and its environment means the merging of its general outline with those of the landscape, it should be remembered that the bridge will likely be seen from its various angles and that each viewpoint will cause its own individual impression. The rule generally is to, take, is to make the bridge more striking than its surroundings, so the eye will naturally be attracted to it. A good method is to make separate photographs of the site and the design to the same scale and after placing the proposed bridge in the landscape view to re-photograph the combination features of the design that fail to conform to the surroundings will then appear and changes can be made until it is satisfactory. So, uh, so our viewers, you can learn the conformity with the environment uh, from this topic. 